lovely weather today. Good morning, folks. I am in a very hurry. I've been rushing around all morning trying to get my stuff together. But we're on our way to the train now because we're going to race the Dirty Sunday. 130k, actually quite, quite hilly, about 1,000 meters of elevation, arranged by the MVPs, 30 Series, and Copenhagen Cycling Club. Let's head to the train. Oh, and unfortunately, Nico has gone sick, so uh, I'm on loan duty today. Let's get it. sure why but there's something up with the with the s train traffic today this is the second time that i'm switching trains but now we're on our way <laughs> let's go stupid me forgot to or got the wrong number yesterday but now we're on the right one let's get it Welcome back to another race breakdown. This time it's the Dirty Sunday, and I just gotta say, this race was top class. I mean, safety, all of that, the organizers really put out their A game. And if you are ever planning to race, this race is a phenomenal race to attend, I think. But it's also like every time I sit down with this camera and talk to you guys about a race, I'm like blown away by something about the race. I mean, this race was so fucking hard and long. Like, first of all, 1,000 meters, thousand meters of elevation isn't a lot, like looking at big picture. But if you look at... At Danish uh, gravel races and Danish races in general, a thousand meters of elevation is quite a lot, meaning that the hills are not something that you just sit on and and you know do like a uh, steady power. It's hills where you rip it up because you gotta keep that momentum. Um, so yeah, this race was wow. On top of that, the the winds were howling this day. I've never experienced or ridden in this crazy winds. Like there were there were moments where I sat on um, on some road road segments in the headwind on my little chainring. Remember that's a thirty tooth chainring, and I rode as hard as I could on that chainring. Incredible, really. <laughs> that was so hard. I was racing for four hours. I just I've forgotten how bloody long that is. But uh, let's get into the footage. So um, we started off with a master start, which was nice because it kind of settled the race down until we hit the gravel, of course, and then there was the wild west. Um, I kind of tried to follow the groups as much as possible and we got into some single track at the start uh, which kind of made a separation uh, but I was an all right group until we hit this, uh, this big ass hill. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. And I... I don't know why, but I clipped out and just have to run my way over the top. <laughs> then I chased on, or tried to chase on some um, some groups. 
and ended up in this big group with, with my buddy Lauitz and also a women's racer from the past racing team uh, called me, uh, which was nice. But um, maybe you can hear it from the footage because I've got a stick in my back wheel. Somehow it got bended in with the spokes. So it was like over, under, over, under spokes. And uh, yeah, first um, I actually thought that I might have destroyed a spoke. So I had to stop and fix this after I've ridden for a good amount of time with this sound. But then I, uh, then I stopped to fix it and um, chased back onto the group. This was so hard. Fuck, man. Had a stick block. Had a stick in my rear wheel. So uh, I was worried it was one of the spokes. Just had to pick it out. Come on now. Uh, fuck. Like, yeah, it, that was an effort. Stayed in the group for, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 minutes until I got a puncture on my rear tire. I felt that I'd lost some air, but it also felt like I may might be able to make it to the finish line with this amount of air. But then I hit a corner and the rim touched the, the asphalt and I was like, ah oh, man, we gotta stop to fix this. So I stopped. Put a plug in, CO2'd the tire, and uh, we got on with it. I had huge trouble getting the, the plug into the tire for some reason, um, but we got it done. Got on the bike again, chased for hours and hours, it felt like, and no groups just ended up fitting. Like, I catched some groups, but then I just uh, rode past them because they were slower than, uh, than the pace that I wanted to go at um yeah <laughs> then we made it out to this um very windy uh road segment where it was just like this was so crazy luckily i i met uh, met a guy out there but there was just no way for me to sit in the wheel and get some, um, yeah, like get some shelter from the wind. The wind was not giving a shit. Um, and then we met these two super fast guys. Like the, the guy in front, he was pushing it. Then it was kind of easier to get a bit more shelter because now we're like a bigger group. And uh, yeah, I rode with them for a while until I dropped the chain on a fucking road segment. No technical pieces or anything, I just dropped the chain. Switching from big ring to a little ring. And then uh, I never saw that group again. <laughs> and, and this is also where uh, I had used up all my battery and space on the SD card. <laughs> so no more footage. But the rest of the race was also just me sitting alone in the wind until maybe about like 50k and then my buddy Gustav made it up to me luckily so I could sit on his wheel because he was flying compared to me so I just tried to uh, yeah I just tried to hang on to his back wheel until we made it to the finish line all in all phenomenal race um, it didn't feel like a phenomenal race when I finished it just felt like uh, one of the hardest days on the bike that I've ever had. But um, when I got home and looked on the power numbers, I was like, damn, we've been doing good. Um, I think I did like 325 for an hour. And the Tuesday, like Tuesday before the race, I did uh, some VO2 max intervals, like four minutes by four. And I was only able to do 328 watts. Like, I don't know if th there's something about when I race, I get into this mindset where it's just, I'm really good at uh, keeping a back wheel, but I feel like 
I might need to push myself a bit more in training. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happens when I get a race number on. It's like I get into this crazy mindset where I just can push myself beyond belief. Um, so I might need to figure out a strategy of how to put that uh, more into my training. Maybe some some uh, group rides or something uh, where uh, they do intervals on. Maybe that would be good for me. Great race. Kudos coming Cycling Club and Dirty Series as always. And also shout out to, uh, I believe his name is Arthur, who I met on the S train. Cool, ch cool chatting a bit with him about, about racing. It was his first race ever. And uh, yeah, what a race. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Next week, next week we're racing Dirty Jutland, same distance, no elevation. Let's go.